take note of what I have to say. This is Arx, which was once a city like so many others, spreading proudly beneath the majesty of the sun. Our king Poxellus was a true and just king, who knew how to deal with our occasional skirmishes with the goblins or the rat men. Many years after Poxellus' death, in the fatal year of 226, our sun began to fall into decline, and an eternal winter fell upon our world. His Majesty Lunshire, noble son of Poxellus, decided to move the whole city of Arx underground into one of the dwarves' abandoned mines. At this point, the conflicts between the different races in Arx dissolved. Not just humans, but dwarves, trolls, and goblins all worked together for their common survival. This migration underground took five years, during which the sun disappeared completely from our skies. All the races built their homes in this new setting, and little by little, relationships between the races began to slip back to the way they had always been. But today, evil is knocking at the gates. Akba, the god of destruction, is about to... Ah! Hey, you there! This way, quick! Don't let him get away! Gotcha! It's all right! He's Come trapped on. here! Get this door broken down! out of here. My memory, it's gone. I remember nothing. Not even my own name. What, what, what did I come here to do? The gobblers probably crept up on you from behind. Bloody gobblers. Come on, look around your cell. There has to be a way to get out on your side. I can't do anything on my side. Thank you, Amshigar. If you can't remember your name, you better keep this one. It means, he who has no name in a foreign tongue. My name is Koltar, and I was part of the Traveler's Guild before I ended up here. Amshigar. Yes, I'll keep this name for now. What is this Guild of Travelers? Well, you really have lost your memory, haven't you? Our world no longer has a sun to heat it, and outside is nothing more than a huge expanse of ice. Only those who are trained and equipped for extreme conditions are allowed to make the dangerous trek between fortress cities hidden deep in the mountains. These people are the Guild of Travelers. Right. We shall discuss this later. Now let's get out of here. I am injured. I won't be able to get through this hole. I'll stay here and wait till you can open the door. Don't worry about me.
you back to cell now. Aim at his head. You run with four. <laughs> this is you want fighting about. Die, you bastard. <laughs> I'm Shagar, we got him. Just after you went through the hole, I heard a noise. So I hid and waited till the goblin came in. This time I got the drop on him, sneaky bastard. <laughs> you lose again. You're lucky. Me play now. Me got good joke for you. Good. <laughs> Me hear something. You know why. Look! <laughs> Attack! Help! side of those bars? Me, Holtius. You help me, and me help me. Uh, you. You open door. Give me one good reason why I should. Me help you if one day you need you. Uh, me. Goblin honor. Um, well, just honor then. Thank you. Me go to tavern upstairs. If you need Porteus, go to tavern and ask for Porteus. Who go there? If you is come for trading, me need to see your written authorization from boss himself. I me have to see your gem dealer badge. Welcome to the Yellow Tulip, stranger. 
Drink and relax. You'll always be welcome here, as long as your coin holds out. I need a password to get through that metal door over there. Ooh, I'm sorry, darling. Perhaps later, once you've been initiated. Hey there, you look lost. Come on over and have a drink. Take a load off. I'm Enoel Calpau, and this little rat hole is my favorite haunt. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Actually, I'm having trouble with my memory. Can you tell me who I am? <laughs> You're a trusting soul. Sorry, friend. But as I said, I've never laid eyes on you before. No one around here look familiar to you? Maybe you were with the Guild of Travelers and some horrible disaster befell them, leaving you to wander around traumatized. Or maybe some thug hit you on the head and lifted your purse. Who's to say? Well then, tell me about this place. Well, this here is a bar. Folks come in here to drink and complain. But maybe you meant the bigger picture. You must have really smacked your noggin. We lived down here in these old mines because our sun flared out some years ago and left the topside world a frozen wasteland. But how many people live here, and where can I find this guild of travelers that I might belong to? You know, I'm not really sure just how many of us there are crammed down here. Besides us men, you've got your goblins, dwarves, trolls. Then you've got different factions of each. Hard to say, really. As for the Traveler's Guild, they're a bunch of hard-to-kill bastards who keep the lines of communication and trade open between us and all the other rat-hole cities. It's supposed to be a long, tough trek between cities, so we don't see them too often. Maybe a while before we see another group. At last, the reinforcements. Go and see Ortiern immediately. A civilian? I am Ortiern, captain of the King's armies and commander of this outpost. Are you a mercenary? Can we count on your help? Mercenary? Perhaps. For now, I have just put some distance between myself and a couple of goblins. What happened to you? We were attacked by a small group of Ilsids. They wounded me and took three of my men. The Ilsids? <laughs> Two hours ago, three of them infiltrated the outpost. They attacked without warning or provocation. Ilsid have earned a reputation as fierce and unstoppable warriors, and now I've seen it with my own eyes. Their speed is unbelievable. In a flash, they disabled and dragged off three of my men. And you must have seen what they did to Karnak. I don't know why they did that. But I do know it would be long before they return. Find someone else to help. I have my own problems to deal with. You are my only hope. I cannot trust the rabble at the tavern. I'd sooner trust a, a total stranger. I just told you that. You have to go to the castle and tell the king what has happened here. This is of vital importance. Since the last earthquake, the path to the castle has been blocked by a cave-in, and we have been unable to get through. You must tell him that the Ilsons have declared war on us. This is ridiculous. You've just told me that the path leading to the castle is blocked. You should be able to go through the goblin's cave two levels down, and find a way back up to this level. It's dangerous and roundabout, but we have no choice. If you find a way back up there, you should be back in the human kingdom once again. Impossible. I've only just escaped from a goblin prison. Here, this will help. It's a gemstone dealer's license. As long as they think you're a salesman and you don't attack them, I'll probably leave you alone. I have to stay here. You are our only hope, brave mercenary. Okay. Good human. Here we go. You come in. Open the gate and let me pass. None human allowed. I'm no ordinary human. I'm a gem dealer. Open the gate. Trolls on strike. No gem trade today. You not coming in. 
Now come, open up. Mm, no. No friend. No, come in. Lord, we have located an energy flux. Another one. Why are the immortals never content with their own dimension? But that is our eternal duty, I suppose. To ensure that the universal equilibrium is maintained. Where is the origin of the energy channel? An otherwise unremarkable world called Exhausta. The supplicant expired before he could finish the communication. What should we do, Lord? Let us send a guardian. Welcome to Ark, sir. Go straight to the guard room and introduce yourself to Carlo, please. urgent message for the king. I am Carlo, captain of the guards. Our king, his majesty Lunshire, is in the throne room. Go into the castle, through the double door of the room with columns in. The king should be there. Hello. He is at the outpost. At your command. My name is Am Shigar. I escaped from one of the goblin prisons and I've been sent by Ortiern. He and his men are trapped at your outpost. He says he needs help to clear the pathway to the castle which is blocked by a landslide. They have also been attacked by a small number of Ilsids and will be unable to resist another attack. Good heavens. These are grave tidings, Am Shigar. You have done our kingdom a great service, and you have our deepest gratitude. You will be rewarded commensurate with the risks you've taken to bring us this news. This cave-in is no small problem, however, and its solution will take some consideration. I have decided on a course of action. You will take this message to Pog, King of the Trolls. His people are very capable miners. They have even helped construct this village. The trolls live one level below us. You may have encountered them already. They are just as ugly as goblins, but five times the size. But relations are excellent between our two kingdoms, just the same. We have a shared hatred for the rat men. I am sure they will provide immediate help. It seems I can't escape being drawn into these events. Well, I shall help you, but I expect your help in return. Do not fear. You shall be well rewarded for this task. Gold will do me a little good if I can't regain my memory. I'm sure it will all come back to you. The goblins must have given you a serious knock to the head, that's all. Don't worry. And now, I beseech you, take this message as the kingdom's emissary to Pog, King of the Trolls. Yourself, Shaney. No problem, Captain. Hello, strange man. I'm Shaney. Have you come to take me back? Ma and the guards are always telling me to stay out of here because things from the deeper levels can get in through the crypt, but I like playing with the stone heroes. Tell me about the crypt, Shaney. Well, don't tell anyone, but one day, when the door wasn't shut properly, I went all the way down four levels. It was really scary. Okay, I have to go now. See you later. Please forgive the vulgarity of my men. 
but they are good soldiers above all else. They want to be sure that no goblin or Ilsid gets past the castle gates. Are the goblins your enemies? Well, not really. As a rule, we tolerate them. Sometimes we need them to trade gemstones and other things, but relations with them go no further. What about the Ilsids? Every time we find out more about them, it costs us dear in human lives. They are formidable fighters, powerful and merciless. We must be on our guard. They are dangerous enemies of the realm. Locked. I am the new astronomer. I was assistant to poor Fallon Orba Planix, and since his death, I do my best to look after the observatory. Give this message to the head troll. The trolls are working in their minds two levels down. You'll be able to spot the head troll pretty easily. He's the most ridiculous of all of them. note from the king of the humans. Hmm. You friend of Loonshire? You pass. What are you doing there, goblin? Me, troll farming. Me have big problems. Trolls on strike. They not tell me why. They not trust me. On strike? So the trolls work for you. Yes, trolls strong. Them mine gemstones. Goblins clever. Tell gemstones. 
Hello. King Pog, I presume. I know you do not like strangers, but I bear a message from King Lunshire. He has something to ask you. I is Lunshire's friend. You give me note. Pathway blocked. Hmm. Me want help your people, but first, humans must help trolls get back lost treasure. Since I escaped, I've spent all my time helping other people. But I have little choice in the matter, I suppose. And perhaps it would be good for my memory, so tell me of this lost treasure. Bad thief stole our idol. Idol protect troll work. Stop cave falling on our head. So now, no idol. Troll not work for goblins anymore. What do you do for the goblins? Gather gemstones in mine. Goblin sell them and give us little bit of gold. Well, I'll get your idol back for you. I know why the trolls are on strike. Someone has stolen their idol. The thief must be caught. A thief? Me heard rumors about idols. Goblin's telling me. You follow me. Me open Goblin City for you. Not as clever as goblins, but me let you into Goblin City anyhow. You do quickly. Goblin King in big trouble soon, if not go back to work. Why will the Goblin King be in trouble? It would be just after all, considering your mistreatment of the trolls. That's how things should be. Trolls strong. Them mine gemstones. Goblins clever. Tell gemstones. Open gate! Let disgusting human in! Oh, all right then. That talk should have been the king. Our king? He loves the case. Our king. Me said no one disturbed me. Me king. Me busy. I'm a gem dealer. Who are you? You call me Lord Attack. Me could be king, you know. A lot of cheated goblin election. Now, he stuck face all day with cakes. That should be mine. Right. Only because you're just stupid human. Let me tell you this. Tell me, Attack. Lord Attack. What is there in the reserve that's so important that no one's allowed to go in there? What you think? Me have nothing to hide. Anyway, who rattled your cage? Right. Let us wait and see what happens. Wizards, gazards! The mixture, it tastes funny. Me must have put too many maggots. Here are delicious cakes, Majesty. Me sleeps them under the door. My name is Am Shigar. Are you the king? Can't human see? Who you think you talking to? Me, king of arcs. I mean, king of goblins at moments. I have to find the idol that has been stolen from the trolls. To do that, I need to gain access to the reservation. You gemstone dealer. King of goblins, very busy. Go away. 
Your Highness. I was thinking that a being of superior intelligence like yourself would understand what is at stake with the troll strike. If I go the wrong way and do not find what I seek there, you can throw me out like the lowest of the low. But if on the other hand, I find the idol, it is only your supreme genius that will have saved your empire from economic collapse. Me? Me on own. Me decided let you have look. Guards! Open reserve! I think it is time now that we helped each other. Yes, now we help you. My people is move rocks out the way. Aruga, Onda, Glock, Warg. Me friend the crew. Him not want live with us, cause not want work for gobblers. Berwaka, I know Gru. I shall give him the birthday present. Gru. Him born underground. Him never seen world from outside. Me think crew wants see pictures from outside. You say happy birthday to crew when you see him. Yes, I shall do it. information about the earthquakes. It's getting more and more troubling. Minor tremors have always been a part of life in arcs, but there's no denying that they've become more frequent of late. I suspect that the energy channel created by Akbar's worshippers must disturb the natural order. It must stop, and soon. Do you think there's danger of a general collapse? If this were the case, our order would have discovered it. The real danger at the moment is Akbar. Be vigilant, both of you, and warn me the minute you have news. Thank you once more, Amshigar. The rocks have been cleared. You have once again earned our thanks and this reward. You have proven yourself a valuable asset to the kingdom. And I shall have to consider a more official role for you here. Ah, yes. How would you like it Your if I Majesty, made you a... We have discovered signs that another ritual has taken place. <sighs> That's the third one in less than a week. Where this time? Just by the air duct, Your Majesty. Do you think this could be connected with the Fallon Orboplanics murder? Probably. I'll get my new friend to look into it. Thank you, Carlo. You may go. Very good, sire. Well then, what do you think of this? I suggest you investigate this shady sect, who I am almost sure have executed Fallon Orboplanics, our old astronomer. I need someone who is not known as an agent of the king, a fearless man. Will you serve me in this role? This is all somewhat confusing, Your Majesty. But I could certainly look into it. I know you will not disappoint me. You will be free to question any of my people in your investigations. 
Guards, give this man free reign of the castle's private quarters. In addition, dear Amshigar, here is the key to one of my royal chambers. It is now yours. Please consider it your new home. That is a most kind gesture. Don't mention it. We shall hold a council meeting as soon as you bring back news of these disturbing events. Wouldn't you have drawn this pentagram in blood? Anyone who knows anything about the magic arts would know that this symbol protects us from the demon. Since our astronomer, Fallon Orbiplanix, was murdered, I can feel that something evil is hanging over the whole of Arx. And what about these rituals? Who killed Orbiplanix? Darkness pours from these rituals. The death of Fallon Orbiplanix has all the signs of black magic and its evil practices. Fallon was a good man, righteous and steadfast. I suppose he found out the truth about who is carrying out these rituals. I come in search of a book which contains pictures of the outside world. This is the book you're looking for. Take it. It's yours. Sweeberis, what can you tell me about the rituals? Do you know who killed Fallon Orbiplanix? Really, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm still just a novice in my art. And on top of that, I hate violence. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to sell you anything today. I'm gonna have to close up the stall now. Are you in need of a healer? No, no, I'm not sick. It's my little girl, Shaney. She's been missing since yesterday, and I'm beside myself with worry. Missing? She was playing at the other side of the square, near the jewelers, and she never came back to the stall. Nobody has seen her, and the guards are far too busy dealing with the Ilsid attacks to do anything about it. I will discover what has happened to your little girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are heaven sent, traveler. Or I'll call the guards. Oh, I, I thought I heard a noise. Let's get out of here. I am Felnor, alchemist of the kingdom, and friend of the late Fallon Orbiplanix. Who was Fallon Orbiplanix? Fallon was our astronomer. He died a few days ago. I think he was about to bring to light a terrible plan, but he never got time to say more about it. I'm investigating the rituals and the death of Fallon Orbiplanix. All I can tell you is that these two things are linked. I have here a note that Fallon gave me the day he died, in case anything happened to him. I never really understood what it meant. Maybe you will understand. Ah. Fallon's precious notebook. Hmm. I think it is time to call the council together. Very well. Now that all the members of the council are present, let us begin. Felnor, what have you found in Fallon Orbiplanix's notes? Let me see. Ah, Fallon mentions something about the guard, Urza. He says he saw him practicing dark rituals involving animal sacrifices. Perhaps it was Erzog who was behind Fallon's murder. Or perhaps it was even the high priest of the cult of Akba. Oh, listen to this. I discovered the existence of a cult which wishes to invoke Akba onto Arks. How oh, suspicious of that, Erzog? Gods, throw Erzog into the cells. Felnor, who is this Akba I heard you speak of? Akba is a powerful devil, the god of destruction. 
that this cult is evidently trying to invoke and bring back to Arx. It would be blasphemy to allow this act to be perpetrated, and a total disaster for every living being on our planet. Yes, yes, here, listen to the next bit. This evening, I shall contact the Noden to ask for their help. The Noden? The Noden is the dimension which regulates the existence of gods. They maintain the universal equilibrium by preventing an imbalance in the power of gods. If Fallon really had been able to contact the Noden, it is possible they may have sent an emissary here to stop the coming of Akbar. An emissary? These emissaries are creatures of pure energy when they are on the Noden. They are sent to cut off the energy channels which might drive the gods out of their dimension. I have heard amazing tales of emissaries who have the strength of 100 men or who can perform the highest forms of magic. Others who are invincible. These emissaries are called guardians. Somewhere in the fortress is a cult which recites impious prayers to a fragment of a meteorite made entirely of a material called Colt. This rock is said to have come from the place where Akbar was born. Normally, this substance is indestructible. In truth, Belnor, only a guardian of the Noden could destroy this meteor. How could one of these guardians stop the incarnation of a god just by destroying a piece of rock? It is the impious prayers of the priests and their hideous sacrifices which are focused by the meteor. It provides a channel of energy for Akbar, who, when he has gathered enough, will be able to complete his incarnation in Arcs. If that happens, destruction and suffering will be unleashed upon us. We must find and destroy this meteorite at any cost. How shall we find this guardian? I have a fragment of Kaldik in my laboratory, which may be of great assistance in finding him. Let's be clear about one thing. We know that the cult of Akbar has a great presence in Ox, and that it is gaining power. Luckily, we were able to stop Erezog, the cult's high priest, before it was too late. But other worshippers could still invoke Akbar. We must find this famed guardian of the Noden as soon as possible. In addition, the war with the Ilsids is very troubling, Majesty. What should we do about it? Carlo, we need a solid plan of defense. I fear the worst. Nobody knows exactly what these Ilsids are or who commands them. God, bring me the fragment of Koltik. Amshigar, while our army is facing the Ilsids, we will need your help to find this legendary guardian. I, I cannot deny that this task will be harsh and lengthy. In fact, we have no idea what the guardian will look like, or even if it is already among us. But I have faith in your capability. Here is the stone, your majesty. Good. Put it on the table. Take this stone, Amshigar. It is a small thing. The Guardian is the only one who is capable of destroying this fragment of meteor. Above all, take great care. Ah. My heavens! Welcome, Guardian. Allow me to explain your next mission. You know the rules of the Noten, the dimension of gods and demon princes. No being of power is permitted to leave this dimension, but Akba is preparing to invade a world called Arx. A group of his followers is presently trying to invoke him. You know that this must not be. We cannot fight Akba from here, for we can impose nothing on the gods. So we shall send you to destroy this cult which worships him, and without the adulation of followers, his power will diminish to acceptable levels. I shall destroy this cult, Master. It will be no simple task. For this mission, we shall confer upon you a specific skill to allow you to destroy the cultic rock which is linked to Akbar's power. It is impervious to mortal attack. 
This rock is the source of the problem as it channels the energy given by Akba's followers. Soon, Akba will have enough energy to enable him to complete his incarnation on Arx. I understand, Master. Though I have a contact in Arx. Your contact died during the transmission of his message. You will have to find your own way when you get there. This is extremely troublesome, as the shock of the passage is disastrous for a guardian's memory. You may be disoriented for a while before your memory returns and you recall this conversation. But there is no other way. Prepare yourself. You are about to be transported. I will bring you back when you have completed your mission. But that means that Am Shigar is... The Guardian. It all makes sense to me now, and especially his constant desire to help others. I am honored to meet you, Guardian. Touching this stone has enlightened my mind. I was sent here to stop the coming of Akra, and I must act without delay. First, I need to gain access to the secret temple. There I shall destroy the stone by simply touching it. May the wisdom of the Noden guide you, Amshagar. Don't let us delay you further. Do not let my presence here disturb you, Amshagar. Your identity has been confirmed to me. The prophecy was right. Now it's up to you to fulfill it. Although I would not wish to guide your destiny, Amshagar. Let me suggest a valuable aid. Follow me, and I will teach you the art of walking through the walls in this kingdom. On each of the kingdom's levels, my sisters have set up a similar room. To use these portals, stand in front and chant the spell, Activate Portal. Then, you will be able to travel to any of the other portals you have activated beforehand. May your faith in the gods be strength in the face of darkness. How does that please you? Oh, yes! Oh, Gru, I dead! Oh, you very nice! You, Gru, best friend! You is no how to make Gru happy! Now, now, Gru, give you presents for birthday, too! Get, take that! That Gru amulet! No Gru attack you when you got that! Thank you. cost is good. We is hate water people. Why? Because them smell like fish. Them stupid. If you is kill all of them, we pay you with gold. We has got a secret treasure. I'll consider it. We caught big fish. My fish bigger. What are you doing here? We water people. Live here, Kais can go fishing. Fishes. My fish bigger. Uh, we we hating Earth people. Why? Because uh, them eat eat rats. That not good. Fish good. If you is is kill them, we is give you big magic thing. Big fish magic. Magic thing is belong to great wizard before. Great fish wizard. I see.
you found Shaney. I don't know how to thank you, Traveler. We are far from rich, but maybe there's something here in my stall that you'd like in return. Please, take something with our blessing. A real alchemist. Pulses, why were you taken to prison? Well, we tell you because you're my friend now. You know, some humans disappear, turn into dinner for Akbar. Akbar? Akbar hungry, always hungry. We goblins did deal with Akbar's grief. In beginning, good for business, as we give humans, and they give gold pieces. We're not really happy, because soon, Akbar becomes too powerful, and with his sins, he wants to kill the whole world, humans, and goblins, and all the others. I took king of goblins, and him say me bad goblin, not allowed to business, and me go to prison. A human eating other humans? Uh, goblins give humans to Lord Nervius and him priests. Give humans to Akbar. Uh, forgive me, my darling. <laughs> Herzog, I presume. Tell me why you killed Fallon Orbit Planix. Are you the high priest of the cult of Akbar? Oh, mercy. Don't kill me. Oh, guardian of the light, I am no priest. I swear it. The rituals were only to bring my dear wife back from the dead. Tell me more, Erzog. They contacted me, but always remained hidden in shadow. The priests assured me that if I prayed to Akba and performed the rituals, my wife would return to me. But it was all lies. Oh, please have mercy on my wretched soul. Give me another good reason to spare your life, mortal. I can help you. The entrance to their temple is through the metal door in the yellow tulip. They gave me the password. Fat Capel. I hate to have to repeat this once again, Lunshire. Find Krahaus and return it to us, or you will regret your slackness. You know that. I've been doing everything I can to find these rebels for the last 20 years, ever since they kidnapped my daughter and murdered my wife. I promise you that. Enough. The Order has no interest in your sob stories. Results are the only thing that can save you from the expression of our disappointment. Now, Sister Shinkash will stay here to help you, as always. I don't understand any of this. What was this conversation about? Listen, no offense, but I think it would be best if you stayed out of this. This concerns something internal to the kingdom. Password. Fat ka pel. We have an intruder! <laughs> I'm in the middle of my prayers. Are you a priest of Akbar?
comes here is of great encouragement to us. This proves we finally have the power to bring Akba to life here, and that he is more powerful than ever. As for the two of us, my sweet, we shall continue this ceremony later. Indra Nika Damriyanama. Stranger, I don't know who you are, but you've made a friend today. Akba will have to look elsewhere for his meal. I won't forget this. I promise. I don't believe it. I thought I'd be able to destroy this. How could it be too powerful for me? Have mercy, Master. He threatened me. Mercy! Come, come, Urzog. You know full well that we must all do our bit for the cause with what feeble powers each of us possesses. But take comfort. Your modest sacrifice shall not be in vain. Majesty, our outpost has been attacked by the Ilsids. This time, there were no survivors. What's worse, we have not found the bodies. Perhaps they have been taken. Great heavens! Where could they have been taken? We do not know. They were swift and merciless. They are a formidable enemy, sire. I suppose these Ilsids are indeed part of the cult of Akba. Under the orders of Aserbius? I don't really have any proof, but we first heard of them when the cult of Akba appeared. But there's something else. Sweberis left the kingdom recently. He must have been able to tell that we were about to discover the truth about him. What truth? Sweberis and Aserbius are one and the same. He is behind Fallon's murder. Now I understand why Aserbius was waiting for me at the temple. He knew I was coming. So you fought with him. Finally, a bit of good news. Amshagar. Tell me that you have destroyed the source of evil once and for all. No. I was unable to destroy the meteor. Instead, I felt my energy draining away. Good Lord! How can that be possible? Felnor, how can you explain that? Hmm. I was afraid this might happen. The stone is now in resonance with Akba, and the energy channel drains both your physical and your magical energy to feed Akba. In fact, by touching it, you have sent your own power to our worst enemy. I think I understand what you mean, Felnor, but even my very best men have always failed in this quest. Amshagar is not one of your best men, sire. He is a guardian sent by the gods. If you think there is the slightest chance that I can destroy this meteor, I will find a way to do it. You must protect yourself against the meteor's energy drain. During the War of the Magi, the kingdom was given an artifact of immense power by the Order of Adernium. Without it, we would quite possibly have lost the war. This artifact was composed of two pieces, Krahaus and Zohark. Any magician who possessed both of these items became immune to all energy draining effects. It was thanks to this protection that the war was finally won. Well then just give me this object. That's where it gets complicated. In fact, when this object was given over to us, a treaty was signed with the Order of Adernium by Poxalis, father to our current king. This pact stipulated that we were to return the artifact to the Order when they requested it. I see no wrong there, so? So, twenty years later, a group of rebels rose up from God knows where, killed my wife, and kidnapped my daughter. She had only just been born. And more to the point, they also took Krahaus. Luckily, we prevented them from stealing Zohark, the Order turned up a few hours later and demanded that we return the whole object to them. We could only give them Zohark, and ever since, 
They have been demanding that we honor our pact and find Krahaus once more. We have never found those rebels. We do not even know if they are still on the face of Arx, as they were only heard of that one time. Nevertheless, the order assures us that they can still feel the presence of Krahaus in the fortress. Very well. I will find Krahaus and Zohark. Now go, Amshagar, and save us from this demon. Find Krahaus and Zohark and destroy this accursed meteor once and for all. Shinkash, in what way is the king beholden to the order of Adurnium? It's nothing to do with your quest, Guardian. Suffice it to say that there is a debt that must be paid. Does the king have something which belongs to you? The treaty. The king must honor our treaty. That's What a pleasure to see you again, stranger. The sentiment is mutual. I do not even know your name, and I think... Later. Let me be the mysterious woman for now. I seek a magic object that was in the possession of a rebel group so I can apprehend the people that kidnapped you. Do you now? What do you know about this magic object? They call it Krauhaus. It once belonged to the Kingdom of Arcs must be combined with Zohar to unleash its full potential. Hmm. Well, perhaps you'd better follow me. Ah, oh, you're waking up at last. Hello again, Um Shigar. My head. Where am I? You know my name? You're in the middle of the so-called rebel camp. And you've got their chief right here in front of you. What? You were the head of the gang that killed the queen, kidnapped the baby, and stole Krahas? You shouldn't believe everything you're told. And anyway, you're not here because of that story, are you? True enough. I'm here because I need Krahaus to destroy the cult of Akba. Well, I tried to investigate the cult of Akba myself, which clearly didn't go so well. As for Krahaus, we've got it here for safekeeping. But I can let you have it, provided you can find me an equally powerful item to replace it. Why should you trust me? I could tell the king of all this. Well, there's this little matter of you saving my life. And as far as I can tell, you are the single greatest enemy of Akba's cult at the moment. So we've a common enemy. But if it comes right down to it, you cross me, you die. Don't worry, I won't betray you. Tell me about this object you want in exchange for Krahaus. I have found old legends of the Shield of Ancients, buried many years ago with a great warrior. I've sent a number of expeditions to find it, but so far with no success. Bring me the shield, and Krahaus is yours. I shall do this thing. I must continue my research in the crypt. Would you open the door for me? I will give you a key to the crypt. Be careful, though. It's a very dangerous place. May the gods protect you.
Who goes there? I am Vladivir, guardian of the shield of the ancients, and that which common mortals call a ghost. A ghost? I come for the shield. Behind this door is the pathway that leads to the shield. Do you think yourself worthy of it? It is an object of great power, and only a being of superior intelligence can take it from me. Why should I trust you? Traveler, know this. Ghosts do not lie. We can refuse to speak. But with every word that passes our lips, we speak the truth. Well, I await your riddle. You come from the setting sun and go towards the rising sun. To go beyond the sun, identify and honor the six elements of the six ancients. First, Place the turning slabs in the position of the six houses of the ancient. And what if there were a link between these runes and the symbols I saw on the ground before I came in here? Oh yes, very good. You're on the right track. Now, put each honor stone in place to correspond with its related house.
deliver the name of my killers to the Ark's authorities, and I shall rest in peace. Who are you? Perhaps you shall know when the moment is right. First, you must help me. Find the people responsible for my death. Spies tell me that you found the shield. Is this true? Here it is. Oh, Amshagar, you have no idea. You see, this shield is much more than just a magical artifact. It is the shield of my grandfather, King Poxelis. Grandfather? So you are... Aaliyah, daughter of King Loonshire and Queen Florence, Princess of Arcs, at your service. Why do you stay in hiding? How can you stay with these people who kidnapped you and killed your mother? These people are my protectors and bodyguard. The secret order of the Sacred Dagger, founded by King Poxelis himself. Their only mission is to protect the royal bloodline. They did not kill my mother. They found me near her body shortly after my birth. To this day, no one knows who killed her. Why are you still in hiding? Before my birth, the Sacred Dagger discovered that the Snake Women of the Order of Adernium wanted me dead, though they could not determine why. They orchestrated my kidnapping in order to preserve the Kingdom's legacy. They considered using the Traveler's Guild to take me away from Arx, but the Order has agents everywhere, it seems. Does your father know any of this? No, he's not even aware that I'm still alive. As far as he knows, the Sacred Dagger is nothing more than a band of dissidents and malcontents. And frankly, I would be happier if it stayed that way, for his own safety. Promise me you will not breathe a word of this to him. I will honor my word, of course, and instruct the guards to let you into the dungeon where we keep Krahaus. Use it well, stranger. Don't even try to lay a finger on Alia. Dead. You is good ally, even if human. Here, golden treasure for you.
Sidar. I am Zalnash, Mother Superior of the Order of Alunium. I don't care what you call me. I'm here because I need the object they call Zohark. Interesting. And what made you think the Order would want to allow such an object out of our possession for your sake? It's quite simple. Akba is preparing to complete his reincarnation in Arcs and wreak systematic destruction on every living being in this dimension. I am the only one capable of stopping this process, but I need the legendary Zohark to help me. <laughs> Very good. But the core of the problem does not lie there, Guardian. Zohark is nothing without its brother, Kraus. It is the union of these two objects that can protect your magical energy. And Kraus was stolen by a group of rebels. Loonshire has consistently failed in all his attempts to get it back for us. I will find Krahaus. You will find it, unless perhaps you already have it. But that's not the problem. For now, destroying Akba has to be the priority. You must emerge victorious from the discernment and challenge. It is an ordeal which must be attempted by each new recruit to our order. You have to succeed in passing the Temple of Illusion. If you do, you may take Zohark, and you will also be protected against all the illusions Akba will try to use on you. Here is the key to our temple. Make good use of
stop my incarnation on Arks now. It is far too late. But why should we fight? Join me. You too are a prisoner of the Doden, and I alone. Talk to you about the murder of a certain a woman. Game. What are you and asking me for? I've got nothing to say to you, so get lost. Listen, One Eye. I'm not going to ask you again. Leave me alone. You, you don't know what you're talking about. More beer. I need some more beer. Tizzy. Everyone can win and become rich. Try your I can feel that luck is with us today. Try your luck in the game and leave with your pockets full of gold. Chicken. Chicken. Every bloody day I eat chicken. Had enough. The Ilsets invaded the fortress, and Lord Lumshire has been locked up in prison. Save him! Save the kingdom!
Kultar. It was all a trap to get rid of you, Umshigar. As soon as I found out their plan, I knew I couldn't let them do it, my friend. Thank you, but where's the king? Iserbius doesn't give a shit about the king. If the king is alive, he's in hiding. He's probably holed up with the rest of his people in the guard room. Ah, I'm beginning to understand why the Ilsids did not kill all the humans in the kingdom. That would be madness. Akbar's hungry, and Iserbius saves some of them as a supply of fresh meat for his master. Akbar will eat every last one if he gets the chance. Kultar, what brought you to work for the Ilsids and Iserbius? When I got out of jail, it seemed like a good idea. Iserbius is very persuasive, you know, and he's got big ideas. He wants to bring the sun back to Arx and get all the humans out of these rat-infested caves. For someone like me who has been outside, that sort of plan makes perfect sense. Now get out of here quick. Use the sewers. I'll make something up to tell the others. Guardian, I know you can hear me, for you wear the armor of one of my fold. The traitor Kultar saved you this time. You are in luck, Guardian, but it will not last. Nothing in Arx can stop the coming of my master. It's already too late. Akbar and I are almost there. Incompetence? The Guardian has escaped. Leave this pathetic kingdom to the humans and return to our refuge immediately. Many thanks, Amshagar. You have saved the kingdom. We shall be eternally grateful to you. I have destroyed the meteor and the temple of Akbar. I am afraid that this will not be enough to stop Akbar from coming to Arx. But that is impossible. That meteor was his energy channel. What you have done was indispensable in weakening Akbar. But according to my estimations, Akbar has had time to gather enough energy to attempt to incarnate here on Arx. I believe Serbius has a secret den where he is preparing to invoke Akbar and offer his body as vessel for the incarnation. How can we prevent this from happening? We can't. The only way would have been to kill him before this fusion took place. It will take him some time to channel the immense energy of Akbar, but during this process, he will be immune to most weapons. You will need the most powerful of all the eldritch weapons in existence to confront this abomination and destroy the link between Aserbius and Akbar. Where can I find this weapon? I'm afraid no such weapon exists. You must have one forged for this specific purpose. There is a book called The Theory of the Ultimate Weapon, which explains how to create such a weapon. You will need it. I will act as quickly as possible. Carlo, you must take responsibility for your crime. My god! Where did you find that? That's of no importance. Do you admit to it? Yes, I admit it. But all this, I did all of it for the good of the kingdom. I found out that the queen belonged to a secret order. The Order of the Sacred Dagger. And you thought that killing the queen was the best solution? Did you not think to tell the king what you had discovered? Sometimes the truth hurts more than a lie. I think the king would have died of grief had he known that his wife wanted to have him assassinated. Here, take this letter. You will have a clearer understanding of what I mean. Must have been that. <coughs> this is the letter that Carlo had found, which had caused him to take such action. Thank you. I will read it later. Right now, I am still having <laughs> trouble accepting so many years of lies. I understand what Carlo did. He thought he was doing what was best for the kingdom. However, I shall never be able I to forgive him. I seek a book called The Theory of the Ultimate Weapon. I'm sorry, Amshadar. You won't find that tome here. To find it, you must visit the library held by my sisters. Silash. I come seeking a book that will tell me how to make the ultimate weapon. 
I knew you would ask me that. So take this tome. It explains how to forge such a weapon. This is yet another favor the Order has done for you.
Akba's coming to this dimension is imminent, even though the energy channel was destroyed. However, there is a way of stopping him. Will you help me? Of course. We will. What wouldn't we do for you, beloved guardian? Remember, though, that you must help us in return. When the moment arises, you need a magic weapon powerful enough to have an effect on the cold stone, even when it is in resonance with Akba. To achieve this, you must forge this weapon in an alloy containing Kolk powder. Then, you will need a dragon's egg to complete the spell. For only this ingredient can retain the power of such a spell. has been given to you by the Noden to request that I sacrifice my descendants like this. I must save Arx and its inhabitants. Aqua, the god of destruction, is about to. I know all this only too well. My question is, why? Do you need a dragon's egg? Only a dragon's egg will allow us to cast a spell powerful enough to destroy the reincarnation of Akba. If you dare to ask a dragon to sacrifice its young, even to save an entire world, then you do not know us at all. So what should I do? First, Prove to me that you are worthy. Must I do battle with you? <sighs> Why not? But this would not be very fair on you. No, I speak of a different kind of worth, human. The worth of all things, great or small. For example, do you know how to make me a gift of as many pieces of gold as a dragon has scales? Yes, I think I've read it in a tomb somewhere. What are you doing, Guardian? Counting do my this. scales? Don't you think there might be other ways of finding out how many scales a dragon has? Don't you know how to read? This sum is correct, Guardian. Take this egg, and may the wisdom of dragons guide your sword. Here's something new.
I'm Shigar. I've been thinking. Perhaps you are right. My father should know I'm alive. It must be your decision. Please, show him this. My signet ring. The sacred dagger took it as proof of my heritage when they saved me. Tell my father I'll wait for him by the lake. daughter, Aaliyah. I had lost all hope of ever seeing you again. Father, it's so good to meet you at last. I have missed you so much. This is unbelievable. I am so overjoyed to find you still alive. That joy is shared, Father. By the gods. This is a precious moment for my daughter and me. I shall allow no one to come and disturb it. Leave this room immediately. Don't be ridiculous. Good heavens, what are you doing here? You have what you want. Krauhaus is back in your hands, so I don't know what you think you're doing here. What has this to do with Krauhaus? We are here to celebrate the return of Aliyah among her own, her true family, our order. Have you lost your mind? Perhaps you've lost your memory. Behold this treaty. The very pact agreed between our two peoples by Poxellus, your father. In the name of the kingdom, I, King Poxellus, King of Arcs, pledge my fourth direct descendant to the Order of Adornium. In return, the Order shall provide the kingdom with Kraus and Zohark. This child was promised to us, Lunshire. Let her come with us, or prepare to die. Never. I was aware of no such treaty. I refute it entirely. What cause could you have to take my daughter? Guards! What? Don't be rash, Lunshire. Have some sense for a change. What good are your swords against us? I thought you were a little more intelligent than that. This treaty was to ensure the rebirth of our queen. It just happened to save your pathetic kingdom as well. We need a queen, and that queen is Aaliyah. Aaliyah shall be queen, but queen of the humans. Comrades! Fight to the death! Enough. No more bloodshed. I will honor Poxellus's word. I know not what lies in store for me in the Order of Adernium, but it is not for me to bring judgment upon this treaty. The kingdom would never have won the War of the Meiji without the Order's help, and we must honor our promises. Father, I accept this, because in my eyes, honor is the most important quality. I hope we shall meet again soon. But I'm afraid I must leave you now. It will not be necessary. Florence? Is that you? I am sorry to interrupt your reunion, O oh sisters of Eternium. But Aaliyah cannot be your queen. Aaliyah is the fifth descendant of Poxellus. What? I was part of the Order of the Sacred Dagger. A secret order created by Poxellus himself to protect the Kingdom of Arx against all sorts of dangers. I was an important officer of the organization. One of the few who knew about the secret treaty. I arranged for Aaliyah to be kidnapped. But the night she was born, I also gave birth to Clarice, her twin sister, born 
a few minutes before Aaliyah. This unexpected birth gave me the idea of putting her into the care of my servant, who could take her out of arcs to the Guild of Travelers. But I was assassinated by an unexpected visitor who has finally been unmasked, thanks to Unsugar. Betrayed, and for so many years, does human duplicity know no bounds? Where is the fourth descendant promised in our prophecy? The true queen will reveal herself of her own accord. When the time is right. I am deeply disappointed. What a waste of time. We have been waiting for our queen for so many years. Sisters, let us return. Our race is dying out, and we have nothing left to do here. You come here seconds too late. No, now I can face you in combat, Guardian. I shall never return, return to the Golden. But you, on the other hand, I will never return. Done. Akbar may have been evil, but he was the only one who could bring the sun back to Arx. Akbar should not have tried to manifest in this dimension. He knows the rules. Rules which you too must follow, Guardian. Master, what do you mean? The rules are set in stone and cannot be broken, Guardian. You were sent by the Noden and must return there the moment your mission has been completed.
And Arx's son, was his Serbius telling the truth? Do not worry about this phenomenon. Quite simply, it is not within the Noden's power. Also, things may not be as you have perceived them. I know you have been through powerful experiences here, but the power you have acquired makes you too dangerous for this world. The consequence of your staying here any longer could be disastrous. And I have many other missions for you. Allow me to bring you back within our fold. Very good, Master.